in this video we're going to be doing a 2k19 rebuild and we're going to be starting off with the charlotte hornets probably the team that needs to just fully rebuild the most um they're stuck in like mediocrity but like below that so and like no cat room to do anything so we're going to unload the entire roster i don't think there's a player we're keeping not even kemba because he's on an expiring deal so let's just go ahead and start unloading the roster right away. One person I do really want to get is Victor Oladipo. I know that he is the best player that I can get because I've already kind of experimented. Um, and the best deal is to do Kemba Walker and Jeremy Lamb. Um, now it should just throw in a second round pick, I think. And then uh, I think the offer was Oladipo and Sabonis, if I'm not mistaken. We'll go ahead and see if I was right. There were a couple other offers, yeah, that intrigued me. Um, the Jamal Murray one and the Brandon Ingram one, but I feel like they're just gonna take two to three years to get to where they need to be in order to win. Um, and I, I wanna do these rebuilds as fast as I can. So if I'm giving up Kemba and I'm giving up Jeremy Lamb, my two best players, uh, I wanna get a solid one back. And really there's none better. I could get Draymond too, that did pique my interest, but. Draymond isn't like a player to build a team around necessarily. He's just a player to like be the glue. It's like Dennis Rodman. You wouldn't really build a team around Dennis Rodman, but you need a Dennis Rodman on your team. Same thing with Draymond. So we'll go ahead and do that for Victor Oladipo and make him the new centerpiece for the Charlotte Hornets with MJ at the helm. It could be interesting. Um, the next trade that I kind of want to do is just a salary dump. Um, so I'm probably gonna do Batum and honestly Batum and Biombo would be nice. Um, I don't think I'll get any offers for that, but um, or at least nothing that I could dump salary. I'll probably have to. Ooh, Ken, is Ken Pay is more on an expiring deal. I'm not sure. Um, I mean he is, but I don't know if he has a team option or player option or anything like that. These are both one-year deals. I would have to give him a first-rounder, though. Yeah, um, I didn't think that was going to work. Let's just see what I can get for um, Batum, just flat out, and then we'll work with that. Actually, like this deal right here, Bobby Portis and Ashik. Um, hopefully, he doesn't have a player option. Um, all I got to do is give up a second-rounder. Bobby Portis can probably be the power forward. Nah, he'll probably move to the center, and then uh, Sabonis at the four. Um, but we'll figure that out later. We'll just go ahead and accept this. Illegal trade, the Bulls are over the salary cap. Um, then why did you allow me to make the trade? Oh, okay, so trade exception. So they can just go ahead and do that for me. I don't really care. Um, all right, so I think I'm gonna hold off on doing any more adjustments to the roster right now. What I'm gonna do is see what we're at in terms of a rotation so we'll go ahead and have the computer rebuild it and see where we're at so we got tony parker oladipo miles bridges sabonis um and hernan gomez i'll probably move do i want to move bobby portis there or keep hernan gomez i kind of want to move bobby portis there um zeller's probably going to get traded we have too many bigs along with biombo so they're probably both going to be gone I might as well just give all the young guys a minute, so let's put Malik Monk up here. Definitely not giving Marvin Williams some minutes, because he's going to be gone. Um, whew, this is an interesting lineup we got here. I definitely think we're going to have to make some more trades, so honestly, we're not going to mess with this. We're going to go ahead and make another one. This one is going to have to be unloading these bigs, because we got too many of them. Oh yeah, so we'll get rid of Zeller. And we'll get rid of Biombo and we'll see what we can do with that. Oh, she does have a player option, though. We'll have to move him by the end of the year. I was hoping he didn't, but... So, probably no salary dumps. Oh, there we go. Iman Shumpert and Yogi Ferrell. That's not a bad deal. And that's looking like the best deal we're going to get. We definitely don't want Timothy Mozgov, so we'll go ahead and take that. They're not going to be in the rotation, but it's a salary dump, so who cares? Um... Now we'll go ahead and adjust the roster and see what we're working with. Nothing that's going to be a winning combination, but it, it, we're not really looking to win games right now. Um, so we got... It's pretty deep. I don't really want Kid Gilchrist. We're going to put him on the trade block. So, all right, Tony Parker, Oladipo, Miles Bridges, Sabonis, and I'm going to do Bobby Portis. 
Um, I'm actually going to make Malik Monk go up a little bit more. Actually, got to give him some minutes. So Frank Kaminsky, I'll probably put him in the trade block as well because he's expiring. So we won't give them any minutes. Put them down there. We'll give Yogi Ferrell some. Give Monk some. I actually might move him up to like sixth man. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I guess I can give Kaminsky some minutes for now. Um, or, nah, you know what, we'll just give Oladipo some more. And then I actually want to give, yeah, we're on with that. Um, not a great lineup, but not the worst lineup in the world. We'll see what we can do with that. Um, I'll probably just simulate it until we either get to another trade or the end of the season or something interesting, but uh, we'll be back shortly. All right, we are back, and I was offered a trade for uh, Malik Monk and Ashik for TJ Warren and Shaquille Harrison, and I'm tempted to take it mainly because TJ Warren is going to fill a nice need uh, with a wing with some nice defense, uh, kind of all-around wing. Really doesn't do anything great, but kind of does everything. So, and he's on a pretty good contract, four years, 47 million, not bad at all for what he does. Giving up Malik Monk, though, I don't really want to do that, but I'm, I'm thinking by the time this rebuild is done, Malik Monk would just be really, like, approaching being decent. Not, not decent, but, you know, effective. So, I'm trying to get something back. Uh, I threw in Kaminsky and seeing if they'll do Bridges. I know they won't, but, yeah, that's what I figured. Um, we'll see if we can do something else. If not, I'm just going to go ahead and take the deal. You could probably throw in a Marvin Williams and then give me like mm, Darrell Arthur. And now we can't do that. Maybe Isaiah Cannon. Oh no, it's the, the salary. The salary is not going to work with Marvin Williams. So I guess we're going to have to do, oh man. See what I have to bank on is this team just working um it, we're gonna do it because we're honestly we're not doing bad right now i'll show you the record after this so we'll accept this trade uh wait your offer has been declined why was my offer declined i was hold on let's exit without declining now the <laughs> the offer's right there so i don't i don't know what that was about so let's accept it here um there we go so we will adjust the rotation manually real quick um so let's see what the computer does so you can see our record is 25 and 23 um what is this trade offer real quick um no we gotta exit this real quick it's 25 and 23 not terrible not good um but yeah we're making decent moves we beat some good teams here so we'll adjust we'll see what our thing is right now tony parker oladipo tj warren bobby portis and hernan gomez I, you know what? I'm going to run with this. I'm actually, since we're winning games, I'm going to do the traditional power forward center and then have the offensive power forward come off the bench. So we're going to run with this and see what we can do. Uh, I don't really want Marvin Williams and Frank Kaminsky, three power forwards there. We need to make adjustments here. Yogi Farrell needs to go like up here. And then I want Miles Bridges playing. I don't know why Kid Gilchrist is getting, is getting these minutes. He definitely should not be. Frank Kaminsky can get some minutes. He's just not going to get them like that. Uh, I'll adjust this lineup and then we'll go ahead and simulate. And then uh, we'll probably be back at the end of the season because I doubt we'll be making any more trades. The end of season one. And we actually finished a lot better than I thought we were going to. We finished a 43 and 39. Um, I did end up making one more trade that I just didn't get on camera. It was... Michael Kidd Gilchrist and Marvin Williams and a second round pick for Boban Marjanovic and Martin Ma Martian Gortat. There we go. Um, so basically the only change was I have Boban starting at my center position and that seemed to help because we started to just start to win really. Um, we did kind of go on a losing streak at the end but um, I guess Boban's being seven foot six kind of helps. So we went from having like two power forwards starting at the beginning of the season to having a seven foot six center so that's interesting russell westbrook gets mvp with 26 9 and 7 not too bad at all luka Doncic, rookie of the year 15 points roughly seven rebounds and six assists one and a half steals though was pretty good uh 46 82 percent and almost 40 percent from three so he's relatively close to 50 40 90 right there for his rookie year 
Dennis Schroeder gets six man of the year, averaging almost 20 points and six assists coming off the bench for the Thunder. Giannis getting the defensive player of the year, almost two and two with steals and blocks. De'Aaron Fox getting the most improved. Nick Nurse getting coach of the year. Um, so I'm assuming we will probably have Oladipo in here somewhere. Um, if not, that would be shocking. Um, wow, we don't. Oh, yeah, there we go. So, Oladipo, I was looking for the Pacers instead of the Hornets. Um, Oladipo ended up bumping from an 88 to a 90 at the end of the season. He finished with all NBA third team. Um, he also got all defensive first team, which is nice. We'll have to see what his stats were. Um, I doubt we got anything else there. Yeah, so that was it. No rookies? Wait a second. That's really shocking because we played bridges a decent amount um we'll have to go see what his stats were so in the playoffs where are we at charlotte so we have the six seed we play miami first not too bad we'll go ahead and check out stats real quick i believe they're all the way over here now yeah so player stats oladipo finished with 24 points five rebounds six assists pretty good on um, the defensive end he had 2.3 steals and almost a block which is nice he uh almost 50 percent and he shot 40 percent from three what is his free throw about 80 not too bad tj warren our second leading scorer at 15 points bobby portis grabbing eight rebounds pretty nice so bridges averaged 12 points about four rebounds and almost two assists and that wasn't good enough for an all team did i miss something like was he on one of the all teams and i just completely missed it that's shocking let's go look at the rookies real quick yeah come on i'm eighth in scoring um that's really interesting. Uh, I'm shocked by that. But uh, we'll go ahead and simulate first game here against the Heat. What if we just win it all right here? Somehow managed to. I don't think we're going to because I'll probably get... I was going to say we'll get swept, but it uh, doesn't look like that's going to happen. But I really don't think we're going to win first round here. I think it's going to take probably three years to rebuild the Hornets, uh, depending on how free agency goes. We'll probably get knocked out right here and no we do force a game seven so this will be interesting to see if we can push it past ah no that's what i figured at least we did force a game seven so we'll go ahead and simulate and see what happens my prediction is going to be golden state and toronto golden state takes it in six um so far it's looking like that's going to be what's going to happen what if the thunder win right here that would be pretty cool um no so it is golden state and toronto um i said six. Oh, wait a second <laughs> Uh oh, are they gonna? <gasps> Were they down three one? Did that just happen? Did the Warriors redeem themselves there? I think, I think it did. Uh, Curry winning the MVP, finally getting his Finals MVP. Um, so we'll go ahead and move on to season two for this rebuild. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and simulate all of this stuff, and then we'll come back after the draft and after. Um, uh, actually, we'll probably come back for free agency. Um, I think that'll be an important one, but the, the draft isn't too important because we're not going to have a really good pick anyway. Back at free agency, and there's actually a lot of free agency. I forgot. I keep hearing everyone hyping up the 2019 free agency, and I forget who all is in it because I always hear about, you know, Jimmy Butler and Clay Thompson. Those are the two. But, like, if all goes right, I mean, we could have Carl Anthony Towns, Kyrie Irving, Kevin Durant. So, like, this could be really interesting. Basically, I need every position except shooting guard, but that's not going to stop me from offering shooting guards contracts. I can offer a max contract and then like about a $20 million or so. So we're just going to offer one to pretty much everybody. So Kevin Durant, you're obviously getting the max one. We'll go ahead and give him like the no trade clause, the player option, all the good stuff that he wants. Um, and then we'll go ahead and do Kyrie. Imagine Kyrie Irving and Victor Oladipo. Ooh, oh, that's nasty. Um, again, give him the max deal. The same thing. We're going to do that for all the superstars. Um, no trade clause. Carl Anthony Towns, he's restricted, so I highly doubt that we're going to be able to get him. So I'm not even going to offer him one right now um, because we only get three um, offers. So I might give one to Cousins because we could use a center. Um, Porzingis is restricted. Um, yeah, I might as well go ahead and give oh, oh, Clay Thompson's enticing. I only have one left. Boogie already has one. You know what? Let's give a contract offer to Clay. Imagine Clay and Oladipo. That would be nice as well. Cannot hate on that. We'll give him the same treatment um, just to see. So those are going to be the three. We'll see if any of them accept right away. Clay Thompson did. So Clay Thompson accepted. 
Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving both went elsewhere, probably back to their teams, but we got Klay Thompson. So we got one of them along. Um, we don't want Tony Parker. We don't want Frank Kaminsky. We don't want any. Um, we do want Poppy Portis. That is the one we do want to keep. Boban's just getting paid too much right there. Definitely not Gortat. Um, he's honestly not getting that much. We'll keep him. We don't want Shumpert. So Bobby Portis and Shaquille Harrison, we will keep. Um, we got Clay Thompson aboard. Durant back to the Warriors and Kyrie to the Celtics. Like I thought, we can still get Boogie, though. We can offer him that deal. Um, oh, and I can offer him a contract. The good thing about not getting Durant and getting Clay instead is I have more money to offer. Now, if I got Durant, I wouldn't have been able to give this contract to Boogie. So that's good. Um, this might have worked out better. Um, I uh, He's got four offers already. I don't think he's going to take this, but... Um, it's definitely worth a shot um i'm gonna hold off on other offers right now because i'm just oh my gosh whoa oh i didn't take that into consideration we can't only get one of them well unless we do this i don't think it's gonna work but no all right so you know what we're gonna do we're gonna accept clay real quick um let me go back to bobby portis where's he at um, we have 23 million in cap space and what are we offering him all right we'll be able to free up space so we're gonna accept clay real quick and then i'm gonna go back and try to free up like 10 or so million dollars let me see what's on salary cap um <sighs> tj warren i would have to trade tj warren is it worth giving up tj warren to get clay boogie and yes it is what am i even thinking absolutely <laughs> let's go ahead and trade him and then pick up boogie um so i'm gonna find a deal for him try to work things out and then we will be right back all right i think i found a trade that i want um i'm gonna be picking up javon carter um who i am a huge fan of he played for west virginia i'm a massive west virginia fan this dude plays defense he can't really do a whole lot else he is um pretty decent distributor but um doesn't have a whole lot of offense game but he's the whole reason press virginia was a thing definitely bringing him aboard and it's kind of a salary dump as well because he's really cheap so we should be able to do that and now with that we should be able to go pick up boogie hopefully he signs back that would be absolutely depressing if he doesn't um but i'm pretty sure we'll have room to get him so hopefully this works out if not this is this is going to be a fail there we go both of them have accepted i actually was sweating right there for a second because when i saw kaminsky up top i was like wait what <laughs> and then i had to look down and see boogie right there so we are going to have to give up everybody i don't think we can get um who was it that i wanted back bobby port oh i can all right so i can still get bobby portis all right well that works out absolutely fantastically um is fantastically a word it is now we have like no money left um i don't even know if we have enough people in the roster one two three four five six seven eight nine ten we don't but i actually like our depth where we're at one two three four five six seven eight so that would be our eight man depth i actually like that um so i'm not gonna mess with this unless there is a cheap like veteran like a Dwayne wade or something like that that i can pick up which is a very good possibility oh there he is a 16 million though what yeah i don't got that kind of money um so i don't see any wow these guys are a lot um yeah i'm not seeing anything here that's really worth picking up so i think we're just gonna run with the squad we have we got our big three now uh, on the bright side so that is a big plus and i think we're on the right path for a championship so we're gonna go ahead simulate through free agency see the player progression real quick um and then just have them sign some bunch of nobodies for me so hopefully all three so boogie even went up clay thompson went up a little bit and all the depots stayed the same that's um i'm sure he'll be up to like an 89 or 90 because up top of the right he's an 89 he was a 90 the last season and then he was an 88 to start but Ryan gomez went up miles bridges went up three so he's jumping javon carter went up seven holy hell okay um yeah so that's a thing i thought he was really high i was like i'm a big fan of him but I thought that was a really high rating to give him a 2k. I thought maybe more like a 69, 70. So yeah, that's where he was at. But I guess he must have just had a year with the Grizzlies and jumped up. So I ain't mad at it. We're going to have a backup defensive point guard that's going to just shut down everybody.
I'm telling you, watch out for Javon Carter. He's gonna be he's not gonna be like an all-star or anything, but he'll be like a Patrick Beverly. Um, just smothering people. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into next season and see what we're working with. Back at the start of season number two. Um, and for some reason, Bobby Portis didn't come along. Um, I don't know what the issue was there, but oh well, not too butthurt about it. So Javon Carter is actually gonna be our starter. I forgot that we ended up losing Tony Parker. I didn't accept him, but but I am completely fine with that because we really, he fits perfectly because we have all the offense we need with Oladipo, Thompson, Sabonis, and Boogie to be uh, uh, realistic. So he's just gonna provide that defense. Um, so I'm really excited to see how this team meshes. Coming off the bench, we got Hernan Gomez, Bridges, and Yogi Ferrell. They're the only ones I gave time to. We also got Danny Green, Devontae Graham, and Luke Mbamute, um, just for the, the fillers. A rookie we did end up picking up was Jalen Hand, so we, we did get a, a decent pick there, but um, he's not gonna really play at all for this rebuild, hopefully, so. I, ideally, I would like for it to end this season. It's definitely possible because we took Clay Thompson and DeMarcus Cousins from the Warriors. So I wanna go see what their roster's looking like real quick, um, and then we'll go ahead and get to simulating. Um, before we do that, I wanna check out Javon Carter's defense real quick. So his perimeter defense is an A. Yeah, that's what I figured. Oladipo is an A+. Plus. Um, so our perimeter defense is nice. Uh, cannot wait. This season should be good. What was I gonna look at? Oh, the, the Warriors, that's right. Warriors still got Durant, Curry, and Draymond. So that's really all they're down to as their big three now. I mean, it's not like that's bad at all. Durant, Curry, um, and then Draymond. So Jordan Bell. Uh, that's uh, That bench is looking uh, awfully unflattering. Um, not unflattering, but uh, compared to um, what they had, when you take away those two stars and you have to replace two bench players with them, then your bench just gets even weaker. So... Go ahead and start simulating the season. We'll be back if any trades happen, but I highly, highly doubt they will because I'm pretty happy with the team we got, um, but you never know. So the end of season two, we finished the season 51 and 31, which was actually pretty good. Um, we broke 50 wins, which is uh, always a good milestone. Steph Curry, though, <laughs> averaged 38 points per game. I guess when you take away Clay and then Boogie, those points just go right to Curry and they probably Durant as well. So <laughs> crazy, crazy scoring season for Curry there with the MVP. RJ Barrett gets rookie of the year with 20 points a game. Dennis Schroeder again getting the six man Kawhi Leonard with defensive player of the year. And Clay Thompson getting the most improved um, with uh, about 19 points, three uh, rebounds, four and a half assist, a steal. So the numbers aren't like crazy impressive. They're about what he would do in uh, in Golden State. So I don't, I don't get why he got most improved. Um, but I'm not going to complain about it. So that is it for that. Let's see if we want any of these. We got DeMarcus Cousins on all NBA first team. Um, and that is it for that. So we probably have some defensive. Victor Oladipo again, second year in a row getting all defensive first team. And we got Javon Carter getting all rookie first team. Although... Wait, I'm confused. Javon Carter, rookie? No, he's not a rookie. Why was he in this rookie class? I'm very confused right now. But somehow he got an all-rookie first team. I don't know. Uh, Bull Bull getting all-rookie second team. So, um, what do you got here? You got there. So, we didn't get anything there. Um, so, we managed to get third seed, which is pretty good. We're up against Milwaukee, which shouldn't be too bad. Giannis is going to be uh, annoying to play against. But we got Clay that can guard him. So, we'll take a look at our player stats for the season and see what we did um there we go we got demarcus cousins averaging 24 points a game almost 12 rebounds he almost had a steal and a half and two blocks so yeah uh he deserved that all nba first team victor oladipo putting in 20 points as well about five assists four rebounds not too bad almost two steals so really good from the big three there and the rest just kind of filled in did what they needed to do um javon carter averaging a 1.3 steals so i'm pretty confident um that we can at least get through the east um but winning it that's gonna be the uh the, the interesting part so we're gonna go ahead and simulate the first round milwaukee finished 45 and 37 which is just eh, not too bad um they take game one though which is not a good sign um hopefully we can bounce back from this we ended up taking game two game three goes to them however this is not good if we can't even get past the first round without some struggle uh, my prediction of uh 
getting past the first uh, or the Eastern Conference with ease might not go as planned. It's pretty much going back and forth. We did take two games here, though, so hopefully we can close this out, and we do. So they only take two from us. It's just they uh, they give us a scare at the beginning there. So Chicago is is hanging in there with Boston. If they could pull this out, that would be fantastic, but I doubt they're going to. So we do have Boston here. Atlanta with the fifth seed in the Eastern Conference. It's interesting. Boston ends up taking game one and game two. Is this going to be a sweep? Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Okay, all right, there we go. Come on, come on, tie it up, tie it up. Oh, you're tied up two to two now. I believe it's gonna be, it was Boston, Boston, Charlotte, Charlotte. So it's back in Boston right now. So if we can pull this off, that would be fantastic. Game five, if we take game five here, I, I, it's pretty much guaranteed that we're gonna go ahead and win this series. Oh, Baby, I cannot jinx it now. We have to win. Because game, I think this is in Charlotte now. So if this is in Charlotte, this is a, a, it's a must win. Because if this goes back to Boston for game seven, yes, we beat the Boston Celtics in six. But now we got the Kawhi Leonard led Raptors. So this will be interesting. The Golden State Warriors are just plowing through everybody, even without uh, Boogie or Clay. Um, so hopefully it's going to be Clay and Boogie going up against Golden State in the finals. Game one, a very important one. They definitely have home court. Um, Houston and Golden State, so it's a rematch over there. Uh, this is very interesting. Oh my gosh, this just got even more interesting. So we end up taking game one from them. If we take game two, no. So they tie it up. Houston takes game one from Golden State, however. Um, Golden State does tie it up. Toronto takes a 2-1 lead over us, and it's looking like, no, it is not, because we end up tying it up 2-2. Two to two. This is the same stress that I was under with the Boston. If we can manage to take game five from them and go up three to two, that would be fantastic. But no, Golden State and Houston have it tied up over there as well. We got to win this. It's, it's a win or go home. Oh, it's a game seven. Houston is up three to two. I, I want to play Houston because they're the worst off team, I feel. But I really want to play Golden State. I want to see that Golden State Charlotte matchup and see Boogie and Clay take them down. I honestly can't even look. I don't, I'm gonna turn around for this one. And then when I come back around, we better see this dub. Cause if I see a loss, I'm gonna croak. <laughs> Holy, we are about to win this in two seasons. I, Golden State forced to game seven. I'm really pulling for Golden State here. I, I want this matchup, but I got this bad feeling. Oh, Yes, the dream, the dream has come true. Warriors, Hornets, season two, the enemies, or the friends turned enemies, I should say. Boogie Cousins and Klay Thompson going up against their old team. We're gonna go ahead and check out each roster real quick and see what the matchup is looking like. So we got Boogie, Clay, Oladipo, Sabonis, Willie Hernan Gomez, Miles Bridges, Javon Carter, Yogi Ferrell, Devontae Graham. None of these guys are getting minutes, but uh, we'll show them anyway. Then we go over here to the Warriors. I think I showed them at the beginning of the season, but uh, they could have made some trades. So they still got Durant, they still got Curry, and they still got Draymond. They got that big three. Jordan Bell has improved. Tyler Zeller is now there. Iggy is still there. Livingston's still there. They picked up Damon Jones. They got Jared Vanderbilt from the Nuggets. That's, I'm a little jealous about that. I'm a big fan of him. Can't wait to see him. Uh, Jacob Evans. So really, uh, their bench is, is eh, um, but it's kind of been boosted up because Golden State is so good. Um, but really, the only bench players that they kept were Jordan Bell, who's probably now a starter, and then Iggy and Livingston. So, kind of changed their whole team around uh, for the most part. But this is this is going to be a very very interesting series for sure. So let's get into it. A part of me kind of wants to just simulate the entire round, but I'm I'm not going to do that because that would be stupid. They do have a 10 game lead on us for the regular season. Obviously, they have home court advantage, so that is going to be the whoa. <laughs> All right, I. I'm just gonna go ahead and get around and see. Okay, they're probably gonna just go ahead and take a 3-1 lead right here. Now, now, okay. All right, I, I stand corrected. No way, there's no way in hell we beat them right here. They're gonna, they have to come back. And I know it's just gonna be demoralizing because we're probably gonna lose when we're up three to one. I, I just got that feeling and I, mm, oh no, oh no. 
Don't do it to me. No. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Oh, the Warriors are going to get the revenge. I, I kind of don't even want to look. I want to just turn around again, but I'm, I'm just going to get it over with. Uh, oh, <laughs> yes. Two seasons. The Charlotte Hornets. See, Michael Jordan, it is not that hard. All you got to do is somehow find a way to sign Boogie and then sign Clay and somehow trade for Oladipo, and then you can just win yourself a championship. Um, so Boogie Cousins gets finals, the MVP. That did not see that coming. He also made All-NBA first team, so Boogie had himself a great season. Wow. I'm um, we'll go ahead and check out the winning team real quick and see what it looks like. Not cap holds. The roster. We got DeMarcus Cousins, Clay Thompson. Both of them have a 93 now. I think was Boogie in 90, I think, and Clay was like an 89 or something. So they both went up a good bit. Victor Oladipo rounding up with a 91. Demonta Sabonis, Willie Hernan Gomez, Javon Carter, Miles Bridges, Yogi Ferrell, Danny Green, Devontae Graham, Luke Mbamute, Jalen Hands, Dorian Finley-Smith, and Corey Brewer. So for the most part, the roster's pretty mediocre. Um, it's just that big three really came in clutch. And then the defense provided by Javon Carter, I can guarantee you had a big play in it. So that is it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, be sure to drop a like and hit subscribe for more content and rebuilds like this. And until next time, thank you for watching.